We got the most recent trenders of the upcoming iPhone 12 courtesy of Concept Creator and I thought why not sit will probably look like based on these renders and have a little bit of feedback and then reference it against what Apple has been doing and talk about why they might be moving in the direction that they're going to move in for the iPhone 12 so let's go ahead and hit the play button right here and the first thing you're going to see is a very boxy squared off design reminiscent at first of an older iPhone so this seems to be a trend here with Apple going backwards in order to go forward and I know that to be a bit frustrating for some users but in other areas of life this rings true particularly in fashion where in design where an old thing comes back around and there's a kind of nostalgia where they where people appreciate that old form over again so inspired by the iPhone 5 some people say but then I started looking around the office and realized that this boxy design actually dates back to the iPhone 4 and even though it's going backwards to go for words the first iPhone was actually curved not boxy not until the iPhone 4 did we start to see this kind of design of course they carried through into the 5 no examining this particular renderer you're going to see not only a design reminiscent of an older iPhone but you're going to see a more modern camera designed to go with a boxy exterior and the camera design is going to be reminiscent of a more recent iPhone that is of course the iPhone 11 Pro 11 Pro Max or will even just the iPhone 11 for that matter this model will stretch the display in a way that a lot of people had hoped for with the iPhone say so it takes a small form factor but brings a larger 5.4 inch display with a face ID style cutout and slimmer bezels in each direction the camera lay on the back is a dual camera setup similar to the current iPhone 11 so bringing modern features to a form factor that some people still like and appreciate especially for single-handed functionality similar to the current iPhone say that the rumor is that this will be available in a number of different colors and it will start at $649 which is cheap it's not at the entry level price but it's obviously substantially less than the pro models have been sort of settling in closer to $1000 truthfully have been playing around some of the smaller devices a little bit and I do think there is a place for them to exist and I'm glad that Apple is going to make maintain a small form factor device and bring the bigger display into a body that is very comfortable to hold in one hand I was just actually typing on the iPhone say and even an older iPhone 6 I don't think I saw the post it's amazing how similar the iPhone SC the current 2020 iPhone SC is to a device out of it when did the iPhone 6 come out a device from a long long time ago you put them side by side and realize the body is almost identical now I realize I've taken a variety of different approaches to the analysis of Apple their design language and how to feel about it and it even called it unimaginative and certainly that's one way to look at it when you see it on a table and you realize realize how uniform the design has been and for the amount of time that it's been like that but of course there is the alternate angle as there always will be in which you might see this uniformity as an advantage the ability to take a form and have it persist over long periods of time it's a difficult task and yet still people look upon older gen generation iPhones and for whatever reason have nice feelings around them and that's not an easy task are they all brainwashed up possibly every single tech brand has its fan but there is something to be said about sticking to a particular approach because it allows you over time to create refinements that wouldn't be possible if you were completely changing things with every single iteration of the reason I got all these devices in the table is because upon seeing concept creators rendition of the upcoming iPhone 12 I started to think what is this phone really inspired by and is it truly the throwback that it seems like compared to the rest of the iPhone design language Apple's design language in general that's why I've also got an iPad on the table so in front of the I have an iPad Pro have an iPhone 4 iPhone 6 the 2020 iPhone say and an iPhone 11 Pro a kind of bizarre combination of devices and the reason being is because I just want to illustrate how similar iPhones have been for a long period of time are not talking about just a single generation we're talking talking about dating back almost to the original iPhone that's the reason that the iPhone 6 is here I held these two devices the iPhone 6 and the 2020 iPhone say and realized that the body shape and style in the curves around the edges and the button layout and the camera modules these things to an alien that knew nothing about these 
objects they would think they were very closely related and they are even though they've got this enormous gap in time upon their release then I thought to myself oh wait a minute the curve around the side at the height and weight just the feeling in hand isn't all that different in fact from the latest iPhone 11 Pro either this thing's a bit heavier and has a different camera Leon of course has different components more modern components than either of these two Apple is incredibly consistent on how they address the curves and materials that you can pick up any one of their devices and kind of feel comfortable right away probably the current generation iPad Pro is your best look into the fit and finish of the potential fit and finish of the upcoming iPhone 12 and of course the other iPhone 12s as well with the Pro and Pro Max designation and so what that gives you is a squared off edge so if you are able to shrink an iPad Pro into a phone format with the thinness and the way in the materials and use you would be holding on to an iPhone 12 funny enough this phone from all the way back then could act as a pretty significant inspiration for the upcoming model so what is the effect of having this flat edge rather than something curved you end up feeling a little more confident in your grip probably because you can feel that edge but there is a slight expense here where some could argue that the grip is slightly less comfortable because you are constantly aware of the fact that it's not matching the curvature of your hand instead that edge stands out it pops out from a design perspective however there is something pleasing Amazingly minimalist about these corner curvatures in the flat edge which seems like the simplest approach to making anything rectangular in industrial design so in the upcoming iPhone 12 you may be giving up some comfort in your hold and in your grip in exchange for a more minimalist industrial design and slightly more confidence in your grip how this will map out to larger devices will be very interesting particularly in the max models of the upcoming iPhone 12 but actually think the iPhone 12 standard with the 649 entry price and that big screen small form factor combination could end up being the most popular upcoming iPhone and when I'm saying big screen small form factor imagine an iPhone 11 screen to body ratio or even a little bit greater inside of a form factor like the current generation iPhone say or any iPhone leading up to it that shared that 4.7 inch display form factor that includes the iPhone iPhone 6 6s 78 the whole bunch see the main drawback with the current generation iPhone SE isn't the form factor as a whole I think a lot of people could get used to it and actually see it as an improvement particularly people want to go there doing a lot of single-handed input the drawback with this particular design in 2020 is the fact that your screen to body ratio is just terrible you have this tiny little display and enormous for head and chin as you're well aware you've been following the iPhone say stuff but if you take this form factor and you stretch display from corner to corner now you're not getting up nearly as much multimedia enjoyment and instead maybe you find a nice middle ground between single-handed functionality and multimedia consumption where you spin this thing around and you still have a decent size display to make it clear we're talking about a form factor almost identical to this in your hand but instead of a 4.7 inch screen you have a 5 5.4 inch screen so there you have it a glimpse into the upcoming iPhone 12 courtesy of concept creator and of these concepts are based on rumors that have come from a number of different sources it's starting to look fairly concrete that the upcoming iPhone will take most of its inspiration from those previous generation iPhones the iPhone 5 and 4 and of course that first generation say let me know down in the comments do you think this is a good move do you appreciate that design language is that your favorite Apple design language or will you miss the comfortable curved sides on your iPhone that you've now had since the iPhone 6 and to not iPhone users has Apple finally done enough this encouraging when you look at the concept creator designs if the upcoming iPhone 12 looks exactly like that that you can switch over at $649 are you considering the upcoming iPhone that is it please use the link below description and subscribe on this channel like the video or comment or even unlike the video thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out